Hello lightning strikes. So today I wanted to talk about a spontaneous video. It's the first time I've done this. I've always had notes to talk about energetics, but today I want to go through what's the collective calling through. And so let's talk about femininity. So the collective talks about femininity like it's some grandmaster thing. And so I also talk about femininity, like it's like, this is the end all be all. And a lot of women will not agree with me. And that's okay. We live in a small world. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. So femin femininity is like, so in my TikTok, I made an analogy. I said, men are steak. They are the nutrients of the restaurant. Like you, if you're in a restaurant, men are the nutrients of the food women are the ambiance of the restaurant how the food is packaged they are the f the seasoning on the food so a steak a steak is broccoli onions garlic these things fries salad these things are yeah great great until you have salt and pepper aromatics smoked, barbecued, grilled, um, the aromatics of the food become what feminine quote unquote energy is. So you have three restaurants, all of them are selling hamburgers. Only one of them uses their unique smoked blend of meat. So the meat just falls off. Um, all of them, only one of them uses lard for their fries to be cooked in and then not only is lard cooked in it they use aromatics on the fries and they have waitresses that are so attentive to your needs and so um, performative when they serve you and they're very um, controlled in the environment that they're in and they're very well paid with being well paid as in your job is a feminine responsibility seeing the value of things and so the, the feminine idealize itself and says we don't want excellent quality meat in our restaurant and we don't want excellent quality vegetables and we don't want excellent quality alcohol spirits and just wines in our restaurant we just want to perform well and you guys should just eat our fries with the cockroach laying there so feminine energy and masculine energy typically has this like mm, na 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 like sassy energy around it and rightfully so in some ways masculine energy has been so arrogant and taken so many rights with women but i think women think that their masculine energy just take all the rights all the mass it doesn't work like that because masculine energy is needed if you take men away, you become a man and you take over that role. And imagine having to now raise the cow, massage the cow, like a Wagyu beef. Wagyu is so expensive, it's nutrient dense. Like, or bananas or anything that just is nutrient based. We eat it because it's nutrient like dense imagine now you are taking over the role of the ambiance and also the nutrients there's nothing like that you have to take over such a huge role you're taking the whole restaurant journey out like actually you're like taking the farm everything delivery everything um in your own hands and so that's a little bit about masculine and feminine energy in my eyes a lot of people won't agree but I want you to see that like a lot of people also comment they're saying like I don't need a man and so my my content seems that it's gravitating towards women who want me to say you don't need a man you don't need a man even men know you don't need them but you always need masculine energy you always need that role to be taken over 
one of my favorite content creators. He's such an um, intelligent vessel. And he's a gay man. But it explains why his content is so tolerable and digestible to me. Um, and so he was sitting in his car and thinking, like, he posted a video. He's like, I am so... I don't feel good. Like, I feel so bad. Like, my problems are stacking up. And then he switched his camera and he showed a woman teaching her, I don't know, whether it's her son or her grandchild or her nephew, but teaching a young man who looked probably 8 to 11 how to ride a bike. And, you know, those ages are too big. Okay, because the kid was in tricycles. And so he was saying, like, look at this this woman teaching this young baby, young Kijana, as how we say Kikuyu, um, how to ride a bike. And he was saying, like, women just rise up and do what they need to do, no matter what. And it's not that we do what we rise, no matter what. I think we just see what <laughs> needs to be done and <laughs> if it needs to be done it needs to be done so someone's gonna do it and um, so feminine energy is so special because there's a lot of women who are like finding feminine energy and they're like confused by it but like you don't deny your masculine energy because your masculine energy you need it to survive like the children around you need it to survive someone's got to play the role and if, it, if it's you it's you if it's your nephew it's your nephew if it's your uncle it has to be uncle it's your father as your father if it's your husband preferably that's who needs to play the role but someone's going to fucking play the role and whether you want it or anyone wants it it has to be played and so when women are saying to me in my comments they don't need a man I just you do do you want to work overtime that's all I have to ask like you have to, the role has to be done like, it's not like a choice feminine energy now on the contrary feels like a choice but it's not a choice at all who wants to live in a world with no feminine energy raise your hand like go to the DMV that's the best that's the best that's my rebuttal for all the feminine energy haters go to the DMV and watch those workers hate their job and hate what they do for a living and like you're saying we don't need feminine energy just go there and see how they act they literally don't want to be there either nobody wants to be there we're just there because we need our licenses so we don't get slapped at police and like freaking send to jail or ticketed or profile like stop you need it and so um that balance is not a joke you need it and it's part of energetics so moving into that there's some people who think also that energetics is new age and that's wonderful i love that for you love that for you um Typically, these are always Christians under under 10 years, under a decade. They always use my channel as a frame for New Age. And so I, I, I don't care anymore because truth, I am not even loyal to New Age. I'm not loyal to Christianity. I'm loyal to God. First of all, I fear him to death. He's actually so scary. <laughs> Um, my video, One Human vs. 10,000 Demons, put a fear in me that was unreal. So he's the only one who's allowed to judge me. And you, opinion out. So I, I don't really connect with Christian communities because they're built off of new Christians or they're built off of Christians who've denied logic and humanity so bad that they fit in to the new community and so not all of them are like this occasionally you find some christians who are very 
intellectual and very wise but even then no I stand by that I think Christianity holds arrogance in its undertones and if you really hang around them long enough they'll show it I went to a retreat and I felt that I just felt like I had to pretend I was like yeah yeah sister mm-hmm. yeah love it pray for you yeah <laughs> and then I'll go back and I'll just regress and I'm like Ugh, don't like it sticky it wasn't inspiring it was pretending at its highest form and so Jesus shuns pretending and I like Jesus more than I like a lot of things um so it was very depressing I couldn't even post for a couple days it was just unearthing but I came out alive, didn't I? But concerning New Age allegations, I don't, I don't even subscribe to Christianity. Why would I sub- subscribe to New Age? There's nothing there for me. <laughs> oh my God! My first, my most powerful encounter was at a church camp, and ever since that church camp, I've never been the same. My mind has never operated the same and it's absolutely horrific not in a good way and so Christians don't know anything about the spiritual realm (laughs) anyways um, I'll go into LGBTQ so some of my original like um, supporters on my page are LGBTQ and I want to say that you guys are brave, you guys are honest, and that's all you needed to be. That's more than anything. Um, brave people always have a contour in their heart, and brave people who still choose to be conscious of spirituality have two of my heart, lungs, organs. They have my everything inside me is owes it to you. you guys. Make me glow. And when it comes to energetics, I hope you feel like it's a safe space and it doesn't feel like the churches that you've been through. I will never shun you. Um, That's if you choose to convert your gayness, that's up to you. (laughs) It's not up to me at all. I will never convert you and I won't support anyone who humiliates you in order for you to convert like that's not what I see the divine really wants to express I think that's something humans want to express and so well just like dreams I think your dreams reflect what you've learned throughout the day or you're actually going through in your life and so they build itself off of the cognitive journey of your waking life and so in your dreams they structure the journey the the progressive nature dreams are kind of like scripts they also have this playness around them like not play like playing like kids playing it's like a play like a script and sometimes when I'm able to get lucid and I step out of the script there's times when the whole dreamscape looks at me they're like you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to follow the script you're supposed to follow the script and it's like this creepy process like oh my god this is my mind bitch get the fuck out of here and so I like into the gay journey or the LGBTQ expression there's a little bit of the same Oh, you're supposed to follow the script. You're supposed to follow the script of humanity. Follow the script. And it's like eerie because you're like, whoa, didn't that same Bible say free will? And the pastor's molesting a 12 year old behind the scenes. And the wife is an alcoholic and she's doing coke. What script? <laughs> I don't think we all, I think we all don't like the script that was built for us. So, um,. Energetics is not that space. Energetics is the 
is rooted in physics in that all energy cannot be created or destroyed it's transmuted and so I try to find that sense of ability you feel and so that is the essence of what I feel like talking about today um, I hope that gravitated to you towards yay towards yay and more content coming in your way Mwah. Oh, like, comment, subscribe. You're beautiful, you're sexy, you're awesome, and you inspire me in ways that are <laughs> too amazing. Bye.